um, a heart disease. Uh, we decided to take him to Children's Hospital where there's a world-renowned cardiac surgeon who is by uh, all accounts a genius. And on Monday morning, Dr. Starnes opened his chest and fixed one of the two defects in his heart. This is what he looked like on uh, Monday. But this is what he looked like um, yesterday. My, my, my. A lot of reaction today after Jimmy Kimmel's emotional monologue <clears throat> talking about his newborn son, Billy, needing to undergo open heart surgery just days after his birth last week. Yeah, what Jimmy did was real and raw. It touched a lot of people, parents or not. He spent some 13 minutes recounting his son's scary story and also touching on a political hot button issue of health care. There are likely many Minnesota families who can probably directly relate to Jimmy's nightmare. What happened to, or we happened to actually, Jana happened to interview <laughs> a family uh, a few years ago and we decided to catch up with the Fern family today. See, it's a terrifying thing. I'm uh, brought back an emotional ride for sure. The Fern family photo album looks more like a travel guide. Snowboarding, skiing, basketball, tennis, skateboarding, biking, anything you can do. <laughs> but then you tend to live life to its fullest when you learn early not to take it for granted. We didn't know it was coming, and so you, uh, you to be hit like that, it, it's very alarming, and then a lot of hospital talk and a lot of <laughs> medical talk. Carrie and Fred Fern's first son, Jet, was born with the very same heart condition as Jimmy Kimmel's son, Billy. Watching the talk show host reveal his personal story brought back a lot of those real, raw emotions from 12 and a half years ago. Very emotional to kind of watch it and see and, and understand the gratitude and at the same time the, the fear. Do you think it's important when someone on a big platform as Jimmy Kimmel talks about this sort of thing in such a passionate, personal way? When you watched him giving his monologue, it, you know, you, I, I don't know how you can't relate to his emotion and relate to um, that he's, he's a person too, and this is very real. A heart disease. Uh, it happens to anybody. It can happen to people with money and it can happen to people without money and people with health insurance and without health insurance. Yeah, I think I think it's powerful that he can use that platform and, and help help others. These days, Jet and his little brother Cooper are very active boys. Kimmel has that to look forward to. And this. I don't think I would take any of it back. I mean, any suffering that Jet went through, but I wouldn't change uh, anything about him. Uh, he's such an extraordinary kid and has taught us so much and people around him so much. Um, he's just so lovable. It's yeah, it's hard to it's hard to regret any of it. I want to thank Carrie for taking time out of her day today because she's a teacher yep. in White Bear Lake, and uh, so she uh, took time out of her class to talk to us about her son. And uh, the interesting thing is I asked her if she's met many families like hers, and she said she hasn't. Uh, and this year, Jack gets to go to Camp O'Dayan, which is a camp that I, yeah. I adore. Oh, wow. um, they do such wonderful things for other kids who have the same exact thing. They have a heart problem, not necessarily the same thing that he does, but they all have zippers. They all have, you know, uh, they all have something in common. And so for the first time, he'll be able to meet with other kids just like him. So, And as you, you know, I met Jet when he was eight. Yeah. Uh, we started doing stories with him. And you noticed in that, and you probably heard this when you talked to his mom, that he skis and snowboards and skateboards all the time. And that's for one specific reason. Sean White, mm -hmm. uh, the professional sh snowboarder, has the same exact thing that Jimmy Kimmel's son has, that Jet has, and, and Sean has. And so they told Jet at a, that at a young age, and so he started doing that. He has more energy with that zipper heart than anybody you can imagine. And your story was when Sean White actually yeah. personally sent Jet a snowboard. So they're all connected. Very cool. Yeah, they're it all, is all connected. Very cool. All right. Well, near the end of his monologue, Kimmel got.